I'm Emma reporting for Winkball and today we're at the Remembering Rhinos book launch. The proceeds of this book will go towards the anti-poaching efforts within Africa. Let's go meet some of the photographers that feature within it. I'd say being chosen for the book is a high honor. The standards are high. Um, I do this for a living, so I, I had high hopes that I would be a part of this again. And I have high hopes that I would continue to be a part of this Photographers United. It's a group that's making a difference. I just think it's important to support wildlife conservation and specifically to draw attention to the plight of the rhinos by attending this event if we, and people becoming more aware by the book that it brings more attention to the cause. I think that, that that's important. It's fantastic. I, I, you know, to make a contribution is, uh, is beyond my dreams, actually. I, mean, I, I, you know, uh, I just like animals, simple as that, and rhino's a big favourite of mine. So to be able to help in any small way is just fantastic. If you see all the photos together, they're all a little bit different, and I think that's great because it makes the book more rewarding to read, um, and uh, I, it's a fantastic book. Um, the initiative by Margot Reggett is just amazing. She's a wonderful woman, and uh, this... Um, this initiative is so important. I think anything we as photographers can do to raise awareness is great, but more importantly, if people purchase the books, um, get involved with um, creating awareness and speaking to their um, to their governments and that sort of thing, we can hopefully one day put an end to um, a possible extinction. We have a mutual interest in making films that make a difference, and I guess that's kind of what why we share this bond, and that kind of brings us here today, yeah. What makes beautiful and what makes impactful photography, things that are going to change people's way of thinking and how we place ourselves in the world. One of the tricky things is seeing these animals in the wild, knowing them for several years, sometimes decades. And I can tell you that this rhino is the grandson of a rhino that I photographed 12 years ago. And I can honestly say that animal, I need to survive and I need it for my psyche, my own personal feelings. So to see them in the wild, healthy, but know that they're on the brink of extinction, it's, it's, heart, it's heartbreaking. Seeing these animals up close was just a joy um, at the start. Just seeing them in the wild was amazing. But being able to capture them on camera and looking back at them and being able to appreciate them, um, you, look, you look at them and you you see that we're just so blessed to have these animals around and just to not have them is um, will just be, it'll be a tragedy. Um, we need to do something about it. This is the second book coming out of the partnership between Margot Raggett and the Born Free Foundation. The last book, Remembering Elephants, raised over £135,000. Let's hope Remembering Rhinos does exactly the same. I've been Emma, reporting for Winkball. Thanks for watching.